Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to copy filter data to uh, separate sheets and we had an example of a list of cars and we were filtering for each uh, car brand in column A so we have here uh, five or six car brands and for each car brand we were filtering and then copying the data to to a separate to a separate worksheet. So it has now um, copied the data here for each car brand, Auto, Toyota, and in a different worksheet, right? So now in this video, we're gonna do the same, but having more than one worksheet as a source data. So for example, if, if we continue with that same example, let's say we have here a list of cars from dealer one, from one of the dealers, and then in the other worksheet, we have another list of cars for sale from dealer two, and then from dealer three. So what we're gonna do in this macro is to um, filter by car brand, for each of the uh, dealers and copy that to a common worksheet for each brand. So again, we're gonna have a worksheet for Toyota, for example, but it's gonna have all the uh, Toyota cars for sale from dealer three, um, the Toyota cars for sale from dealer two, and the Toyota cars for sale from dealer one. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and see how we do that. So I'm going to call this macro Consolidate Filter Data, something like that. And as we are going to be looping through each worksheet, we're going to have a object variable WS as a worksheet. And we're going to need a few other variables um, so for example, again, we will have the car brand, uh, let's call it brand as a, so I'm gonna have it as a variant, and we're gonna have a few other variables. I'll get back to that later. So now we are gonna look for each WS in worksheets or in this workbook worksheets, and if I go here with next WS, what this loop is doing, um, that's quite straightforward. What this is doing is just looping through the three worksheets we have here. And just to demonstrate that, we can have a message box here with the WS.name. And if I run the macro, now you will see that is looping through dealer one, dealer two, and dealer three. Okay, so let's remove this one. Now the first thing we'll do here is, and this is gonna be a bit different to what we've done earlier, I'm gonna get the unique list of brands in column A. So just for this data set or for whatever we have in this column, I'm gonna get the, the unique uh, list of um, of entries here, of in this case, of brands, which is going to be Seat, Toyota, Opel, uh, Citroen, and um, and I think, and Fiat, yeah? So it's going to be just five or six. And to do that, there are several ways to do that. And we've done this in some previous videos. One of the best way, um, or one of the ways I, I often use, is using a collection. So for that, we have to declare here dim, and I'm gonna call this collection um, unique brands as new collection. And then we will need also like, um, so the entry as a variant. So you're gonna see what I mean by that. And we will need another one, which is last row as an integer or as a long, if you have a, a long data set. So we're gonna get here the last, uh, so first of all, we're gonna get the last row with content in that column, in column A. So that's gonna be in 
WS cells rows count comma column A we're gonna have the end Excel app and the row and actually instead of just using this every time we're gonna refer to with WS um, because we're gonna be using that WS in different places and here we will end the with statement now that we have the last row with content in column A which for this first worksheet for dealer 1 is gonna be 20 right now we're gonna get this range and we're gonna loop through this range so for each entry in that range which is dot because it's in WS dot range A1 or A2 actually if we don't want to um, if we want to skip the header through A until LR so for each entry there so it, we could also say for each cell in, in this range we're gonna add that to a collection so unique brands dot add and we're gonna have and as you see here when we add an item or when we add to a collection we can add an item and a key and in this case the item and the key are gonna be the same and in that way it's gonna be unique otherwise it will actually generate an error and in order to avoid that we're gonna ha have here an on error resume next statement then we go to the next entry so this piece of code is gonna generate a unique list of uh, brands for that column and now we can loop through that unique list and filter and copy and so on right so that's now we're gonna get back to what we did in the previous um, macro in the previous video uh, in the previous macro but with a few changes so I will write here now we're gonna um, filter and copy paste the data so first of all we're gonna turn on the auto filter right with range a1 out of filter and now we can start a new loop for um, for each brand let's call it brand in unique brands and as unique brands is a collection this brand has to be declared as a as a variant and that's why I declare brand as a variant up here And the first thing we'll do here is to add a new sheet if it doesn't exist. So we have to check if sheets brand is nothing. If it does not exist, then we're going to say sheets.add.name um, equals brand. Okay. But if it exists, this will give an error. So then we have to avoid that with on error resume next or actually that's not gonna be necessary because we have an on error statement here so we don't need to add it here again unless we will have an on error go to zero and now we're gonna filter in ws dot range a1 out of filter and the field is going to be one so that's column a the first column and the criteria one to filter is going to be brand so for each brand we're going to filter um, within this loop and then we're going to copy that filter data so the visible data but before we do that um, we're going to get again the last row with content in the new worksheet because as we are gonna um, as we are gonna paste data from different dealers we want to to get the last row 
uh, in that the new work in that worksheet in in for that particular brand, um, and then we will paste everything after the last row with content. So I'm gonna just copy the same uh, expression here to get the last row. But now we're gonna get the last row in sheets brand. Okay, and let me make some space here. And now we're gonna copy, but um, if LR is one, so if there's nothing on that worksheet, then we're gonna have um, A1. So we're gonna start on the first row. It will copy the headers as well. So the first time it will copy the headers and the current region and special cells. And that's exactly the same we used in the previous video, in the previous macro. Excel cell type visible dot copy. And now we're gonna use the destination attribute of the copy method. So uh, I'm gonna continue in the next line. We're gonna paste that in sheets brand. We're gonna copy that starting in range A1. Now else when last row is greater than one, so when there is already some data in that um, in that worksheet, and I'm talking about the worksheet for each particular brand, so for Toyota, for example, let's say we already have some data from dealer one in the Toyota worksheet. Now, when we are looping through dealer two and we want to paste the data the data for Toyota, we're gonna actually copy so so that's gonna be different it's gonna be range a1 dot current region that's gonna be the same but but now we are gonna offset one row below comma zero so it's not gonna copy the headers anymore because we have already the headers um, there so the brand model and, and year, the headers are already there. Now we're gonna offset one. And again, special cells, Excel cell type, visible, dot copy. And we're gonna copy that now again in sheets brand, but now we will start in range A and last row plus one okay and here we can end the if statement and we are still inside of the loop so we go to the next brand and let me see if i can fit that all of that um, in the window so we see the whole macro together here and actually before we go to the next brand we're gonna show all the data And then for the next brand, we will filter again um, by the brand and so on. So yeah, don't forget, show all data down here. And the last thing we have to do, and a very important thing we have to do is to actually get the value of the brand. So when we say sheets brand, it should be brand.value and we would use the brand.value as the name of the worksheet and, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say here brand equals brand dot value. And the reason is because brand has been declared as a variant. And when we are using brand here is actually, a, is, is not a string, is a, an element in the collection. And then we have to 
get the value of the brand, which is the string value of the brand, to check for the worksheet with that name, to add the name to that worksheet, and so on. So let's see now if we run the macro. It adds, as you can see, it adds um, again a worksheet for each of the brands. And now the difference with the previous macro is that this one actually has all the Toyota, for example, for Toyota, it has, it has the cars from each of the dealers. So for example, if, if we look at dealer one and we filter by Toyota, we see there are four uh, Toyota, Auris, Yaris, Corolla, and so on. So these four are these four here, right? Then we've been looping through dealer two and filtering by Toyota and by the other brands. And there are another four, uh, uh, another four and actually that's the same because I've copy paste the, the data. Uh, but these are these other four. And then for dealer three, same story, right? If we filter by Toyota, there are another four actually and and um, and these are these four here so in total we have a 12 which is four for each and in some other it's a bit different because I I, I didn't copy everything uh, from one dealer to another but um, so if you look at uh, for example if you look at Audi there are only two cars here because only one of the dealers um, is actually dealing with with Audi, right? Uh, for example, dealer one, it doesn't have any Audi, um, so those two Audis are actually one is here, uh, and the other one is here. So it's only from one of the dealers, one one of the worksheets. So this is how we consolidate the filter data from different worksheets. Um, into separate worksheets for each of the brands or each of the categories. And that's how we do it in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.